and we made it down to the beach. There's a few people out here. Tide's gonna be low in about an hour. Uh, pretty good surf. I don't know. We'll see what we can find. I'll turn the camera on on the first target. There's some iron here, but I think there could be something. I think there's something next to it. Hard to say. 28 to 30. Looks kind of deep. Like I say, there's. I hear iron, but I think that's a separate target. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh. Hitting on something. Yeah, there's cement. Let's see if we can get that out of the way from the other side. Oh, it's just huge. to say. Let's dig next to it and see if we can get under that pop it out of the way. this one guys we got it out Rusty coin. Might be something else. Don't know. We'll bag it and we'll check it out later. I'll clean it up for the wrap up. That was it. I don't hear the iron either, so it might be junk. We'll find out. Let's keep going. Got a bit of a low spot right here. The surf's pretty big today. Not many signals. I'm hearing some iron though, so that lets me know I'm in the heavier stuff. Beautiful day out here. I'm going to keep swinging around. Hopefully we can find something. It looks like a deeper spot up ahead, so we'll check that out. Water's getting cool, though. I don't know if you can see those down there. There is a pair of sunglasses. I don't know if they're any good or not. Hopefully they're good ones. Nah, they're missing the earpiece. That one's snapped off. They've been out there for a while. They both snapped off. We'll take them. I'll put them in my pocket. All right, let's keep going. I don't even see that. But that's quite a deep hole right there. Too deep for me to get into. 
I'm gonna follow the edge of it along here though and see if we can't get into it up here a little bit. The tide's still going out for a little while, so we'll see what happens. Got a lot of swirling going on right here. There's a deep spot. Got a mermaid. Water is ripping pretty good right here. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna swing around in here. I don't know how. I don't want to get too far in. You can see it over here, though. Wow, it's just ripping. A lot of current right here, and. See, it just drops straight off. It's shallow. It's shallow over there. Just a just a big low spot right here. I don't know. I'm gonna swing around. If I can find something, I will turn the camera on. Finally got a signal out here. Let's get on the on this side of it. Right there, it looks kind of deep. I don't know. Oh, I'm already hitting something. What is that? Just a piece of cement. There it is, the coin. And it wasn't deep. It's a wheat, I think. It is, it's a wheat scent. That's a good sign. We'll put the cement back. All right, we're on the board with an old coin. Let me swing around out here and see if we can find something else. What is that? I see something down there. No idea what that is. It's probably iron though. I'll bag it. Alright, let me uh, let me keep going and see if we can find some more coins here. We got something here. High 70s up to 90s. Could be something good. Yeah, still there. I don't hear it. We might have it. We do have it. Large coin. Green quarter. Clad type. We'll take it. In the bag it goes. Can't really fill my hole in. But the surf here will do it shortly. Alright, let's keep swinging around. There's something down here. 70s, 80s, sounds kind of, sounds 
sounds kind of broken. I don't know. We'll we'll put a couple of scoops on it just in case it turns out to sound better when you get it out, which sometimes happens. It sounds a little different, but I think it was much deeper than that. Four to eighty one. I see something right there. It's a greenie. I'm going to say another copper coin. It's a scent, but whether it's a weed or not, I don't know. We'll check it out in the wrap-up. All right. Let's keep going. Look where we just got that copper coin, and you can see there's a piece of iron there. That's why we were getting the sketchy, sketchy sound. Just thought I'd show you that. I was checking my hole. All right, let's keep swinging. More iron. We got something right here. 27, 26, 28. I don't know, we're gonna dig it. Could be something good. out right there it's in the scoop oh I see something brass brass screw some green on it. It's been out there a long time. It's interesting. We'll take it. Might should put that in the jar because it might fall through my drain holes. All right, let me get this in the jar and we'll keep on going. Seventy-one. Four inches down. Should be in the scoop. Let's wash it back in the hole. Another green. There's Lincoln. Don't know whether it's a wheat or a memorial. Let me give it a quick rinse. It's a wheat. Not bad being on the wheats. That means we could be in the in the zone for some silver coins. All right, let's keep swinging. Looks kind of deep. 25 to 30. Seeing a little flash of red, but there's a lot of iron right here that I'm picking stuff out of, so 
it might not be uh, might not be our signal doing that. Getting sketchy sounding now. see it looking at me. I didn't say that's a nickel. Yeah. Don't know. We'll clean it up and Check it out in the wrap up. We got something here. I'm seeing a little bit of iron. But I'm going to put a scoop or two on it and hope for the best. Oh, get out of there. It's in there. I think I got it in the scoop. Let's walk it up a little bit here. It's in here, 12. I don't see a thing there. It it's right there. Oh. I get it. Tiny copper circle. It's one of them new Joe Biden pennies. Alright. And the jar it goes. Keep going. Got something right here. It's in the twenties. Uh, six inches. Hopefully it stays in there. You get it? Don't hear it. I think it's a 22 casing or 25. Can't tell if it's center fire. Yeah, I think it's like a 25 automatic. It's a center fire cartridge. We will take it. Bullet casing. All right, let's keep swinging. I don't know if you can see that. The old stairs are under the new wood construction, but that's how much, I guess the beach level used to be up there. Yeah, crazy. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna keep swinging. We have got something here, it looks all the way down, depth wise, I don't know, 20 to 29, 32, it's bouncing around. I'll put a scoop or two on it, let's see if we can pinpoint it. We'll 
we'll try it. Yeah, never know. <laughs> oh, I think I see it. Right there. It's a nickel. It's George Washington. George Washington. It's Thomas Jefferson. George's twin brother. Alright, let's keep going. Look like George. A 40. Let me get on the other side of it over here. Yeah, 39.40, about six inches. <laughs> 41, right there. Got it. Gotta be in here. No, we didn't get it. We got it that time, unless it's going through. What do we have? Bullet. Yeah, it could have been something good. Like I say, we're, we're digging in the heavy stuff, so we could find some gold. That just wasn't a piece of it. Let's keep going. We've got something here. I think it's pretty deep. It looks all the way down. Wait for the water. Yeah, I don't know. We'll put a couple of scoops on it anyway and see if something will pop out for us. Something right there. Sticking straight up. Just a piece of copper wire. <laughs> we'll take it. Let's keep going. We've got a rainstorm over there. I don't know which way it's moving. Yeah, I don't know. We're just swinging around out here, finding a few older coins. Beautiful day, though. It's not hot. It's probably like 85. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna keep swinging for a little while longer. I think we got something out here. Right around there. Right 
there. I don't know if the water's gonna go out here or not. The tide's coming back in, so it's not gonna get any easier. hear it. Still got sand. I don't see a thing though. Just some shells. Gotta still be there. Or it went through. that one in my jar or not that one I just dropped in there all right let's keep going 46 47 looks super deep I don't know we're gonna try it see if we can get it before the tide gets us Six something good it stayed in the scoop coin crusty zinc it looks like I was hoping for a ring or something good all right well surf pretty much got my hole let's keep going 39 to 46 it's about eight inches down maybe more Clear 
a space for my dig handle. And we'll see if we can't get that extra little bit. Something right there. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It could just be another crusty coin. We'll take it. We'll put it in the bag. Let me fill this in. And we'll keep going. Forty to forty-two, right there. Six inches, I think. Crusty coin. Those zinc coins can ring up almost anywhere depending. Alright, let's see if we can do a quick wrap up. My battery ran out. I was almost to my ramp where I came on the beach, so I didn't bother switching batteries to keep going. Um, no dream squashers little bit of foil can slaw we did see this in the water and picked it up I think it's just a rusty nail a couple of pieces of lead we got two of those little copper brass screws um, top of a safety pin a little bit of copper wire a bullet a 25 caliber uh, bullet casing and in our previous video I had what I thought was the bullet out of a 50 caliber I hit it with a hammer and knocked the stuff off of it and it's just a unfired rifle cartridge oh and the little the little copper circle a uh, pair of sunglasses. They're junk. Been out there a long time. And a couple of possible fulgurites. I gotta check them out a little more, but usually when you get these rounded ones, they they get that way. It's when the lightning hits the beach and it fuses the sand together. On the coins, we had five zinc pennies. This one I thought might have been a button because it's got like a thing on the back but I can see some copper shining through and it's the right diameter so I'm gonna say just crusty zinc we had two nickels one was a buffalo we'll get to that in a minute one Jefferson nickel and uh, one quarter we had one copper memorial cent and two wheats they weren't old they were 40s and 50s and uh, a buffalo. 
so uh, and the dates wiped on it they always it's on a high spot on the coin so the dates always get rubbed off on those that's probably the old coin so yeah that's it um, still trying to uh, chase the low spots after the hurricane so uh, I don't know we'll see what we can find on the next trip out I've been trying to ease my arm up here a little bit it's I got rotator cuff damage going on so it's kind of hindering me a little bit but we're going to keep going anyways I want to thank Kelly Co and everybody that's been shopping with Kelly Co using promo code Daytona it helps out the channel and uh, yeah so if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff and you won't miss the next one and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.